Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com. Welcome to another Paper Pumpkin Kit Alternative. So Adrian, if you're still here, hello, and I hope you enjoy your grandson. That sounds like a lot of fun. Hi, um, Elizabeth and Rochelle and Brenda. Welcome everybody. I am so glad you guys are here with me today. So I do have a couple of... Um, Uh, announcements to make. Sorry guys, I kind of lost my track in there for a second. Um, the new paper pumpkin kit, um, so February's paper pumpkin kit is, I'm going to say Easter oriented. I, st I don't have the um, little image yet, but it's super, super cute. Hello, Carrie, how are you? Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, we had... Um, there's always a video. If you're a demonstrator, you can watch a video in um, the Facebook group. And they showed a few of the things. They never show like the whole kit, but a few of the kits. And it brings some really, really cute boxes, guys. I have to say, hey, Tara, how are you? <laughs> well, enjoy your grandson, Adrian. So really, really nice. I just hope you guys um, subscribe to next month. I, I think that if you are a person that sends cards for Easter, is a great idea, right? Um, and it seems like there's stamps for coloring. They're very beautiful. So I'm just putting in all that. Hey, Kiwi, welcome. Oh, hi, Brenda. I am so glad that you are here in the live, not alive. <laughs> yep, front of the class for both Kiwi and Tara, huh? Okay, guys, the second thing I want to show you, and, and um, I am going to make them like this, probably because it's easier. Okay, so that is the newest um, kit. So it's called Rock Legend Kit. I ordered them. I have them here. I don't even know where I put them. Oh, nope. <laughs> I don't know where I put them, guys, but I did order them. <laughs> Huh. Well, there's that. And hi, Mitzi, how are you? Hi, Anita. And I really like them. So I think I mentioned it to you guys that uh, Stampin' Up! is going to be releasing um, kits, two kits every month. Uh, that's my understanding. I thought that was quite a lot. But um, it must be that there is a lot of people interested in... Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we rock. Interested in kits, right? They are definitely all inclusive. You, if you get them, you won't need anything else unless you decide to do what I do, which is alternatives. Here's the other one, and, and again, I just want to show them to you because they're so cute. And this one seems to be more like um, Valentine's. Thank you, Anita. I appreciate that. Um, Type right because it says send send lots of love with adorable cards. So both um, kits are very cute. If you are interested, don't hesitate. And you think about like we are right in uh, celebrations. So I mean a couple of kits and you're almost there with the um, getting uh, to your free uh, gift. So just wanted to put that out for you guys. Uh, and I think that's it. Hi, Laura. How are you? Welcome. Let's go ahead and move the crafting table. And if I remember anything else, I will let you guys know. <laughs> because, you know, why not? Hi, Judy. How are you? <laughs> okay. So we're going to be doing a fun fold. It's a very cute fun fold. I'm going to show them to you like this. I'm going to, I'm following, um, Susie's request of kind of show you what I am doing. Uh, this is the front fold. I saw it on Pinterest, guys. I can't remember who I saw it from. Um, it didn't seem like it's a brand new stuff. So, I mean, I've seen many things are similar, right? So, um, I, I saw it. I, if I could show you, I tried very hard to see you guys can tell. I score very, you know, several times. The end result is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. Oh, oh, Judy, that's nice. Yes, I hear you because the, 
winter is definitely um, getting out there. And so before I forget, to those of you who are going to be close to the, you know, snow and cold, just uh, take care of yourselves, guys, because it, it's... Hi, Susie, how are you? It sounds like um, it's going to be awful. So uh, part of my day today was uh, at lunch, I had to go and check on the chickens and make the um, the coop, you know, as safe for them as possible. So um, very, you know, just be mindful and be careful. Okay, let me see. You guys are having some good old <laughs> kiwi. You're so funny. <laughs> uh, you are guys are having a good time. So, Brent, as you can tell, I have a a few friends in here that definitely enjoy having a lot of fun in this um, lives. So, Judy, we it's been cold. It started yesterday. I think yesterday the high. I'm always thinking in, in Celsius, and I'm sorry, but I think it was the high was somewhere along the lines of. 20 today was a little bit warmer it was like 25 um tomorrow the high is going to be 12 and i think that the low is like minus 16 and that's in fahrenheit so um yeah it's gonna be cold <laughs> it's gonna be cold it's, it's gonna snap out i think i heard um it's going to be better towards the let me see towards Tuesday, I believe. So, anyways, let's get started, guys. And I somehow lost my trimmer. <laughs> it's right here, guys. Don't worry. I did not lose it. For those of you interested in the um, disappearance of my stamp last week, it's still lost. So, just letting you all know. <laughs> We're going to start with a piece of car black cardstock that measures 11 by 5 and a half. Um, and so we are going to align that 11 inch side to the top of the trimmer and we're going to score. And this is very simple. We're going to score at, let me put that there, one and a half inch. Then we're going to move to three and a half inches. And then we're going to move, so let me just open this, to six and three quarters of an inch. And that's it. Very, very simple. The rest is just decoration. Okay, so, and yes, I have all my um, pieces already cut because it does have a lot of pieces. So Kiwi says, oh my God. Really, Kiwi? Kiwi's, Kiwi's in Texas and she says it's going to be like 15 degrees. Oh my God, I sure hope you're all taking again i just hope you guys do the best for this it's going to be a one so we're going to let me see this we're going to fold here and this is we're folding belly make it i'm looking at my little hi jimmy how are you looking at my little um cheat sheet there then we're going to fold mountain and we're going to bring this bone folder just to really crease that. And then we're going to fold Bali again. Okay. And that is our card, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to push a little bit here more because this is a little rebellious, huh? I can't believe that. Uh, oh, my God, Kiwi, that is crazy. I like it. I am used to, to Colorado being cold, right? There's no way around it. We are cold and in, in the winter, and I'm okay with that, right? Thankfully, I work from home, and some of my kids work from home, so that that brings me peace of mind. Uh, it, I do pray for all those people that have to go work, or or you know, I like I feel super strength like in my heart about the homeless people, right? With these cold and, and I don't know, I just pray very hard that there's somehow a way to help them. Um, so, yeah. Yes, Brenda, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we are going to need for this card two pieces. 
and this um, these are going to be let me see one and three eighths by five and three eighths so two pieces because we're going to cover the front and the back then two pieces for this one too and this one is going to be one seven eighths by five and three eighths and finally two pieces for this and this is the why the reason why i decided to do it with this um kit because this kit has a lot of um I want to call it design series paper, but I guess the card bases, right? We have a lot going on and we can definitely play with them. Um, and so I think that that's going to work really well. And again, we are going to end up at um, four and a quarter and five and a half. So like I said, I already have my pieces here. We're going to do the stamping first so we get that done. Um, and out of the way and I'm bringing my pebble pad ink whoops that is rebellious oh thank you <laughs> yes Brenda I know it's 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 ugly all over I don't know if it's all over the United States but I everything I've seen is just really really ugly and again I'm just just praying that everybody stays safe and you know how it is, right? I have my my kids and they're grown up kids and you're like, dude, are you prepared? Have you like bought extra food or whatever, right? And they just like kind of laugh at me. So there's that. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and ink our stamp. And thankfully, guys, yay, this is a circle. And so we have the possibility, we don't have to really worry <laughs> Too much about being straight because you can just move it like that right circles are amazing because of that and so I'm trying not to put my big head in front of you I'm bringing these down a tiny bit and um, hopefully it's centered enough and that makes me happy oh my gosh guys and so we done I don't think we're going to do any more stamping um, I did, I did not anticipate it. But so we're going to put this out of the way for one minute. And I'm going to bring first the pieces in the front. So with this piece, this piece, and this piece, okay? And again, I have them already cut out um, because I just wanted to be able to have um, this kind of speed up. Obviously, if I, I mean, if I don't do that, you don't need to see me cutting all eight pieces or nine pieces, right? It's, it does not make a lot of sense. So I have chosen you know, all of these. Um... Oh, yes, Ginny, you got me. I That's what I was like, oh, I'll have to stay home and just craft. Huh. I'm just kidding. So, yeah, I hear you. So all these, again, all these pieces. Um, are already cut sorry I get distracted okay I love 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 um, these I don't want to call it DSP but these card rays right I feel that it's so airy it's just so beautiful okay so we're going to add I'll give you here you guys know that I will add and of course I was just using these because I have a surprise for you today guys um, this is a very simple card to make and so I got a little excited and I made another card not with the paper pumpkin kit but I just wanted to show you um you know like its use and I think you guys are going to love it so let's start with this one so this piece has to be if the glue helps me which is definitely not helping three and uh let's see this the, so the top layer is three by five and a quarter and the lower, the, the underneath layer is three and an eighth by five and three eighths. Okay, something is going on here with my glue. I don't know why it's so rebellious. Going back to why, guys, I struggle with glue. <laughs> oh my God, kiwi. Oh, oh, kiwi. Oh my God. Stay safe. Do you have like a generator and stuff like that? Okay. So again, all those measurements guys will be included in the box below, probably right after, um, the 
live. I, I don't have any, much going on. And so I will write them down below for you. So you don't have to worry about this. this is driving me insane. I am not sure why this is not working. So I have another one here, of course. Um, and ah, look at that. This one is working well. So it might be that that one is a little bit um, empty now. And we're going to add this one here, okay? And we're going to bring back, and I just cut a piece of the, um, just the Balmy Blue cardstock. I really, really like, I guess my thought is I don't want it to look like too busy. And I'll show you because the other, uh, the other card looks a little bit too busy to me, but, um, but I really ended up liking it. So I, I, and I was working with, it's not necessarily my favorite paper from the celebration, but it's up there <laughs> with the ones I really like. Um, I have to say most of celebration paper is very beautiful, um, and very, or very useful, right? Like that. I know Kiwi is very rebellious. And then I'm going to bring these here. So I'm going to show you why I decided to use that um, solid balmy blue cardstock. And that's because I feel that once you extend this, right, it's good. It needs to like, okay, let me move this before I keep talking a tiny bit. I definitely keep forgetting that glue moves. Um, it's a thing. So, uh, Brenda, since you've been here, I don't know if you've heard me saying this, but I recently changed to glue. Um, and oh my gosh, it's been quite the process. And this did not work very well, but I'm going to let it be because this is going to go in here. And so it won't be too noticeable. Right. And I'm probably going to put a little higher. Ah, guys, me insane when that happens, guys. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Oh, good, good. <laughs> well, we're not very far away. So, yes, Kiwi, of course, coming over here. And then I am going to bring, so I have one of these flowers, and I'm just going to put one in here. I think that this will totally, like, work to kind of kind of give some interest to these piano right just blue panel so we're going to move that we have our first and now we're going to go and decorate this and I have like I said all my little pieces in here and we're going to start so I'm going to say so you go you guys know so this one is our regular this will be four and an eight by five and three eighths but this one is half an inch small not half an inch it will be three eighths of an inch smaller so this one measures five by three and three quarters and the only reason that happened it's because um i had had this already cut and i didn't want to cut the only other piece i had of this paper i just like it so much that i i didn't and so i just figured i can just leave a bigger white um piece and i'm okay with that so so you know that's why i usually make just eights and and i have to say i really like eights a little bit better than um than other measurements i don't know why but i do um, but in this case, that's the reason why I left a little bit more. And so we're just going to make this in here and add this in here. You guys see that? I'm like, what is going on today? And I have, again, all my pieces in here. So you guys have, um, you guys know that I have already very thought out, um, I just didn't want to do over and over again. I have said this, guys. I don't know why, but the smaller the piece, the harder it gets to me for me to layer sometimes. I'm so, it always feels that they're not straight. Does that happen to you when you're working with smaller layers? 
I don't know. It's just weird. And again, what I did, so you guys have an idea of how I thought out this, is I put, I opened these up. So I got my, um, oh, I miss, I miss permanent glue stick. Oh, I have not, I have not used those to see. Hmm, Tara has. Yes, yes, Brenda, you're totally right. It is the same. I, I was thinking of that the other day. Um, and it even, it's not the same, same, but it does have a feel of a paper pumpkin kit. Oh my God, do you guys remember that had, had the uh, um, water, okay, I, I forget the name of it, but Okay, so you guys are talking about that permanent glue stick. I have not heard of it. So brand new to me. I'm bringing this gorgeous piece in here. And again, just these are all eighths. Um, and then the final one. Scotch. So I may have to try that. I definitely, guys, suffer with my ability to glue things. It's funny. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's not that bad, of course, right? It's, it's just, I make more messes. It's just funny. Okay. Let's guys, this is going to be done like in two minutes. I don't know. What are we going to do today? Well, we can chat for a little bit. And so I figured I'm going to bring, let me bring this one. So I'm going to bring this one. This is the one I want in here. And that way you can write something into it. I don't want to stamp anything on it. Um, mainly because um, I, I don't want to use a whole lot of the uh, Pebble Path. Um, it makes, like I understand the reasoning behind it, but I don't love it. So let me, we're going to bring this one here. And I'm actually going to like calculate the middle and that's it right like I'm just going to put it up and I'm going to put a little bit up so I can see some of those flowers which I think are very very cute and I'm trying to make sure that there's more or less the same difference between these two edges right and our circle and the other thing I was thinking is I want maybe I keep, I brought all of them, all of the other pieces, because I just was not sure what I wanted in here. Um, and so maybe I want this one. I think this is the one I want. And I'm, I think I'm going to put that one in dimensionals. So not the small ones. So yeah, right. It looks really nice like that. So I'm going to bring one, of course, in the middle. It's going to have dimensionals or glue a look. Mm. Let me see. If the small dimensionals fit in here, then we'll do dimensionals. And they do. Okay. Okay. Um, so I just don't want it to have not to not have um, any dimensionals in some areas, right? Because then it, it looks wobbly. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I find that with the glue, if you Yes, and Tara is totally right. Oh, I'm so glad that you like it, um, Kiwi. It is a very, very simple card. And uh, you guys know that I... It's simple in the sense that it, to make, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But all you have to do, because all, all you have to do is some scoring. It takes a little bit more of time with the decorating. Um but I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. It does not take more than. Oh, thank you. I am so glad you like it, uh, Susie. It does not take more than um, an hour and 10 minutes, even cutting everything. And I'm going to tell you why, because I, I'll show you the one I have here. And you'll see, and I did it, I don't know, probably start like at 4.50, right before the live. So... Um, yeah, 
I just think that it's very simple. So you have that, and we're going to come in here. And so I kept thinking, oh, wait, we're going to glue this. And I'm just trying to obviously try to put this in a way that, you know, it won't, um, it won't be seen. So it needs to go a little bit lower. I mean, a little, little more inside. And I think that will do. And it's not completely centered, but I am okay with that. Uh, Kiwi, you can uh, just be mindful that whomever can come and see it. Um, I mean, I, I don't mind. I, I, me, Maria, don't mind. Just be mindful that, again, whomever can come and see it and then they will have access um, to that. But I do have Kiwi's email and I do have Tara's phone number. So uh, I can connect you guys if you prefer. Let me know, Kiwi. It's more about being, you know, mindful with your, what's the name of that? With your information. And I'm just doing that so I don't have to, um, oops, it's a little bit not straight. It doesn't seem straight. So I don't have, I don't lose the position. And then I do that. I don't lose a whole lot the position. Let me go back and see. Yes, I think it is okay. Jesus, Maria. And we're going to do this real quick. And there we go. So this one will be in here. I really think that I want like an extra bigger one in, out here. Um, and we have the big, big, big one and the smaller one. I think I'm going to go with the smaller one. Okay. Just as a, in decoration in there. Uh, Hilda, I will have them probably, let's say maybe give me half hour, an hour after the um, live is done. But I do have them. So yes, I, they will be available. And they will be in the description below, in the box description below. Okay. And then I did make, so two things that I kept thinking of and something that's, that is not cool, Maria. I'll have to clean that. So I have these piece that, guys, I have not used this. Isn't this funny? Um, but I have this one and I was thinking, well, maybe I can put this in here and you have an extra area to decorate. But then I was like, oh, I'm thinking I just want to put, you know, this other flower, which is a cut out of the envelope. And um, just put it there. And so that's what I am going to do. Okay. And I'm actually going to put it all the way down. I don't know why it feels more grounded. And of course, since we have the most beautiful um, gems in here, we're going to use a couple of these, not with a pen. Yes, so let let me rephrase that I was going to do the paper hoarder club and I have not had time. So that's totally on me. I will send an email today to all of you and we'll get connected. So I'm going to bring one, this one that is bigger, like in the bottom. Um, it's totally my fault, guys. <laughs> I think you are a wonderful group and I think we have really a lot of fun in here and I like that. I don't know where to put this one. I'm going to put it out here, actually. Okay. So that's the card, guys. <laughs> Dude, this is not even 30 minutes. That was when, that went really, really quickly. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad that at least I have another card. Uh, yes, Kiwi, me too. Another card to show you. So things that I wouldn't say which I will show you here is if you, it would be a great idea to do a, uh, maybe put some ribbon around, right? Like underneath and that will work really well. Then when you're coordinating your paper, just see or remember that these piece will be on top of this and on top of this. So all has to like, 
not much but the, it you know if if this one is too busy then that one needs to be a little bit busy a little bit a little, a little less busy that says me right it's not necessary but i think that it would be um the easiest and same here right you can do this and then i was thinking i could have done these flower like up here so it came out let me show you guys what i'm thinking right now like kind of put it there so you can see it underneath and i may do that what you guys think too weird i'm so glad you like it while i wait for you guys to say um if you want that i'm going to move and bring the other one i did so i am using the I forget its name for whatever reason. Light and airy. Oh my god. Um, designer series paper, which is a celebration paper, and I I think that people really really like it. I really like it too. Um, uh, but I, you know, I like some of the others as well. What I've used a lot of the celebration, so I'm really happy when that happens. Um, so, and this is, and this is kind of what I was telling you, right? Like, if it gets too busy, then it just feels, it feels like, mm, I am so glad you like guys like it. So, I this one is the one I did use some ribbon, and just for those of you that are newer here with the paper pumpkin kit when it comes to paper pumpkin kit i use only what's in the kit but black or white cardstock black and or white cardstock um so i have um that's why this does not have a ribbon but this one does because again this is completely i just wanted to try to make sure that everything was going to look like I, I imagined. So this is the first side. And really, um, mostly, I have... Um, let me remove that. I have used cutouts. So that paper is so beautiful and that needs a little glue um, that you can just fussy cut and, and that will do. I am not a expert fussy cutter i have said that a hundred times but i i'm not shy and i don't care <laughs> i just feel that it's beautiful and that i can't cut it and so i'm gonna try and so yeah it's a playing with patterns so i really really like um this card because it's great to play with patterns paper pattern right with your dsp um i i again i was thinking a lot of the celebration so i kept but i kept thinking of the um i don't know that the, the one with the tools i like that one very much i have not used it yet um but i think this card will be great to play with that tools one and i may even make one um just because it's so useful right and and again is what i like about this card is that you can do a lot of fun things with with it Ooh, great brenda yes i think that this paper probably is going to run out quickly so that reminds me just remember that the celebration um gifts are there until they're gone and i don't think they replace it um and so yes kiwi they are balmy blue gems although they're like really really um toned down so here's the two cards i am glad that you like them susie so well that was pretty quick 34 minutes i don't know should we just chat <laughs> And so for Kiwi, can the gems be bought? Is that what you're asking? I am glad you like it, Kiwi. I'm just really, really glad. So very simple. Also, I wanted to say this is an old and retired um, ribbon that I have that I'm actually using because I, I have not used it. But you, if you don't have it, you can use this one. And this is a cheer ribbon that comes in a three packet in an annual catalog. And it will also match very well. 
right? Like, let me put it like that. It will also match nicely. So you can use both. Okay, I am trying to understand what Kiwi is asking, but I am not sure with gems, which gems you're talking about. Mitzi, I am glad you like the bird one. <laughs> this bird paper is definitely amazing. The Lavender Sweet. Okay, let me, I'm going to hop on into my computer real quick. Um, I have not seen, give me one second. Oh. Hmm. So I guess there is the 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 dyes the painted painted dyes are unavailable. You're right. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> These die. Um. So two questions. I'm sorry, Carrie. Let me let me look when it will be restocked. That will be restocked. I I would think so. Um. But I will send you an email with that info. Sounds good because I, I don't know. Um, and this one comes from the Thoughtful Expression dies. Thought, thoughtful Expressions. Um, it's, it's as you guys can probably see because I've used them a lot. It's one of my favorite dies now um, because I like that shape very much. I like both shapes very much. So it belongs to that Thoughtful Expressions. <laughs> um, I'm so glad that you guys like it. So let me see one thing. Oh, there it is. I found it. Um, let me see. So Kiwi, it says that the dice the painted lavender dyes will be are, will be available January to January 29th. Sorry. Um, Kiwi, I don't think you can buy those specifically unless you buy the refill. Uh, the, it, you will have more gems in there with the refill, and I don't think there's anything similar in the catalogs that we have. Um, not in Balmy Blue. I don't think so. I'm looking through the ones I have, but I don't, they, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure you will not be able. Oh, Carrie, yeah, January 29th is when it'll be here. Um, the size of the card will be four and a half, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, guys. You're welcome, Carrie, yeah. So, yes, this is probably... Um, Brenda, I think it was you who were asking. This is probably one of my favorite dyes, and I kept recommending them um, to those of you that, you know, if you don't have your demonstrator, go and talk to them. But if you do, uh, if you're not, I love to be your demonstrator. But I think that those um, layering dyes are always so, so useful, and you totally have to get them. But I really like that kind of shape, right? So... Oh, thank you, Kiwi. You're so kind. Yes, she, Susie's saying something that is true and is that you can get the clear gems and um, color them with alcohol markers. That's a good option. The problem is, I think, Susie, is that these, these have like, uh, they're faceted gems. So they're very similar to this. So these, can you tell that they're, they have like, they're not smooth. They're, they're, there's some extra um, dimension to them. And so that's what they're very beautiful, but you can totally color them if what you like if the, is the balmy blue and they will give more or less that same. Um, that same result. Actually, we can do that now. 
Let's see. You know, since we're here. Oh, thank you, Tara. I appreciate that. Not those. So you have two options, and these are the these are the ones we have right now. Is rhinestone basic jewels, and let me get my where's my balmy blue, and you can do. I will probably use the dark balmy blue. Um, and I'm just trying to see if it, it's going to get that. You'll probably have to do a couple passes with it, but it does get the same feel. Can you see it? Um, it's harder to see there. Yeah. Okay, there you go. If you use this one, it seems like you get more color out of it. Look at that. Can you see it, Kiwi? Now, these are white. If you have these other ones that we've had in the past, you see these are these are more whitish. These are more like um no, these are pretty similar, huh? They have a back I guess the backing are is silverish, right? And it'll give that because these are not silverish, these are completely, completely white. And um these are older ones that I you know never used in the end. And I'm just coloring one so we can see the difference if you have this. Um, completely different and hard to see. Let me see. There it goes. Hi, Jeannie. Yes, there it lots of possibilities with... Um, with this layout. I completely agree, Ginny. So there you go. You have the, the, you can make your own. And these are the new ones. And they're not, I think they have like the same faceted. Um, let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. There you go. Maybe the same faceted. Um, I don't know how to call it, but yes. Anyways. So there you go, Kiwi. That that can be your solution. And by the way, that's why that was so much darker because I was using Tahitian tie. Just kidding, guys. But that's a good color too. Yes, yes, Tara's right. Let's. This is the actual. Let me see. There you go. This is the balmy blue one, and I'm using the dark one. This seems very black, very black, very dark. Um, but sorry, Kiwi, I kind of mixed and match colors there, but can you see it? It does look very beautiful, which by the way, brings me back to why buying this is amazing, right? Because then you have, you can just create your own color of rhinestones. You don't need, you don't need anything new or buy anything different because they'll be here, right? Okay, guys. Well, Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, Ginny is totally right. Oh, good, Brenda. I'm so glad. Isn't it beautiful? I absolutely love, love the poetic expressions. I love the paper. I've not used it yet, but I love the paper. I love hummingbirds. Um, so, yes, yeah, one of my favorite, uh, just because I love the hummingbirds. And then you have... Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. You're totally right. So... Susan, um, no, Ginny is saying that you can use a belly band. And I don't know why I didn't think about that when I was doing this. Whoops. Um, I'll, I'll decide if I want this here. That would totally have done it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I am so glad that um, you like the cards. It was definitely a Fast and Furious card. <laughs> Um, so very, I was impressed at how quickly it went. Um, and so <laughs> just like last, last week, it was hours, um, today it was not so, <laughs> but it went quickly. So I'm, I'm just super excited. 
Uh, and if you have any questions, guys, always, always, you can send me an email to Maria at Maria's Crafting and I'll answer any questions there. You don't, you don't worry. Sometimes I'm not as fast as I would like to when I want to answer, but, um, most of the time I'm, I'm pretty on top of it. And, um, okay. Since it's 45 minutes, if you have, if you have to leave, you have to leave. Um, but would you like guys like? Let me find out. Would you guys want to see the kits? The Rock Legend and the Panda kits? I'm just asking because we have some time. So we can I can show them to you if you're interested. So I'll wait a couple more minutes to see if you're interested. And then... Um, and if not, we'll just close it today. <laughs> I really like those two kits. I think that... We rarely ever get stuff for males. Um, and so I I really like that that kit. Yes, please, please, all of you stay safe. Um, I hope that you know craziness does not like it's gonna be a level of crazy, but I, I hope it doesn't go the next level of crazy. Okay, let me bring them. And I, guys, I have not seen them, actually. So, so we're starting with the panda one. <laughs> have a safe weekend, Susie. Let's see. So, yeah, I'm very excited about this. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. Um, so it brings... These are a sequins, kind of those iridescent sequins is what it looks like. Let me show them to you. But they're opaque, opaque iridescent sequins. Very beautiful, right? Isn't this gorgeous? I really, really like this. And, you know, another cheat of um dimensionals because we all need dimensionals. So let's see. We have... It's four card bases and there's slim lines. Um, and then, oh my God, look at how beautiful <laughs> the envelopes. So these are, so let me put them together kind of so we don't mix and match. And of course, guys, if you know it, they always have this gorgeous um, explanation of what they do and um or how to put them together so we have for these slim line we have three of these so the oh there's two of them there's two of these cutouts and so we have a super cute let's see technically one this one once it goes in the middle one that's just kind of like having fun and where's the other one and this one is the other one okay so very simple but look how cute this looks and i guess i'm missing something there has there is like a grass feel here yes totally kiwi i am right there with you girl so let's see so we'll put this in here and then you have this and the sentiment is this one in Flirt Flamingo and it says hey there very simple kind of like that hey there so I I oh yes I love the pandas right oh yes tons of alternatives um I may not do alternative. I have never tried to do alternatives with these kids for whatever reason, but I do like them very much. I have, again, I just think that it is a good idea to have some options if you um, want to make certain cards. So I'm going to say this. Okay. This is what I was thinking. I'm sorry. I usually do not send a lot of valentine's day cards um for whatever reason like i i don't know like i feel like my husband and that's it <laughs> i don't 
don't know. So uh, this is great because somebody like me can just send something um, like this. And it's kind of, you know, kindish. And then the other one, let's see. So we have, these are the card bases for that, these. And I covered my... And so let me see how this goes because I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's check the instructions. Oh, Maria, so dumb. <laughs> oh, yes. So this <laughs> goes on top of here. So you then you have an extra piece to do something extra, right? Kiwi, that is so funny. <coughs> so this goes into in dimensional, so it gets a little bit on top of it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then you bring this super, super cute. Oh, I love this one. I got to show you guys. Sorry. <coughs> so it brings the little, like it's, arms separate so you can just put it like that and it looks like it's holding that and that's so so cute and it just says love you lots isn't that super adorable i absolutely love it so anyways i guess that what that was part of it right like i think it's really cute i think that for people like me that won't that usually do not um send Valentine's this could be a total winner um, and you just can't send them so I may be sending Valentine cards which reminds me I wanted to ask you guys do you want me to make some Valentine cards I rarely ever do in lives again because I don't send them often but if you want I can do some extra so this is one oops I'm forgetting a piece here so let me know if you're interested in some into some Valentine cards and I can work on those. And then here's the Rock Legend kit, which I opened backwards. <laughs> um, but I really, again, I really, really like these kits. I don't know what the other ones are going to look like, but they, and, and maybe I can, I I have heard people saying like, oh my God, they're really stepping up. And so I don't know. So the sentiments in here in for the panda, you're very welcome, Jeannie. Stay safe and see you next time. The panda just say it has two sentiments and I'm going to bring them because I already forgot. Maybe. I think it was like, hey there. And yeah. So this is one of the sentiment. Hey there. And the other one was love you lots. Okay, let's open this one. Okay, already a winner. I love. They have like these stars. Isn't this super cute? Oh my god, look at these. They're um dimensional stars. Oh, how beautiful. More dimensionals and so let's see okay here is the here are the instructions and then you have four cards of each putting those away yes kiwi i agree who's in so these are the two types of envelopes and they are, um, this one is awesome because this can also be for Valentine's, right? I love them. Let me see. They, yeah, they're all, all the way decorated. So all the way inside. So nice if you're going to do some alternatives. So this one. And then, so here are the card bases. Let's see. So we have yellow and black card bases like that so um, this is so this is like oh no 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 it's just regular bellum i was holding to them <laughs> 
So, Ginny, do me a favor. Send me an email to Maria MariasCraftingCorner.com, and we can we I, I'm we're creating a hoarder paper hoarder club. And that was Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. So this one goes kind of like that. And then it has these awesome guitars here. That is not how this goes. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm actually looking at this. Yes, totally kiwi, totally kiwi. Kiwi's totally right. It says that those envelopes are, envelopes are screaming for alternatives. But just like that. And then it has this... Uh, you're a legend and it comes in all the different in different languages right this French and yes all those <laughs> um, I am assuming this is German but I don't know um, and so you'll have this one on top of here so I re again I really like them oh just kidding I'm missing a piece here is this the one so yeah so you put that one and then you put this one Ting, ting. Then you bring this friend over like that and put some of those beautiful stars. So very simple. Oh, thank you, Ginny. I appreciate that. Very simple. But again, it's super good for, um, for males. And I don't have, I usually struggle with make cards for males. So this worked wonderful for me. <laughs> And then the next one is, let's move those out of the way. Um, so let's see, where's the star? Here's the star. So it brings a little bit simpler. It brings the star and then the guitar pick that says you rock. The other one says happy birthday. So this goes like this. And where are the drum things, drums, sit drumsticks. Oh, really? That is so funny. Oh my God. That is amazing. Kiwi. That is super cool. Yes. This one is very, very cool. If you like, you know, music and whatever i think those these two and metal now it comes back to you can totally use this right like you cut them i think so like if you just kind of i don't know leave a what that be like a fourth of an inch and of course if you do better fussy cutting than i do then you can't create a frame with this right you can totally create a frame Maybe I'll do sometimes alternatives for this. Um, so anyways, see, you can drums. Okay, drumsticks. So you can totally create a little frame in here and use it somewhere else. So that's cool. Okay, so these are the two kits, right? I really, really like them both. And so I did not, I, am, I don't, it's not like I don't usually buy, I don't all the time buy the kits. Um... But when I saw these two, I'm like, oh, these make a lot of sense for me to get. So, um, again, maybe I'll do one of the simple stamping Sundays can be making alternatives for the kids. That could be fun. Okay, guys, this is a lot of stuff in here. Oh, look at that. More glue dots. You guys, I have like the biggest collection of glue dots in the world. Oh my God, that is amazing, Kiwi. That is, oh, <laughs> Terry is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't help it, Kiwi. I can't help it. It's 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 just easy, right? Like it's very easy because it's um, how you call this? They they are they're well designed design. You're very welcome, Ch um, Carrie. Okay, guys. Well, we made it to an hour. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, guys. So, thank you. Thank you. I know, guys, I'm going to show you. But just because, like, look. 
I mean, you just have so many of them. And I am not good using them. I have to remember to use them. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I wanted to show you something. So, this is my new way to save my kids. So I am saving the beautiful boxes because, of course, I like boxes. I have, so I did cut this. So I have at least just all the best. Most of my kits are ended up like this, right? Like with very, very little extras. Um, this probably is the one that has less, but I have others that have a lot. But it, they have fit in here. Um, and so I leave these so I can remember the name of the kit. So I just cut it and leave just one page. And then this one I put in there, my, um, you know, the leftovers, but that's, that's my new way to do this. So, you know, um, <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, so you guys know, I, I wanted to show you because we've talked about it. Um, I bought these. Tan, 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 in Amazon a while ago when I started being a demonstrator I was like I really would like to sell cards right and then I decided that was not a good idea but um and so I, I got a ton of these a ton of these because they're not super expensive but they are very not they're just acetate and I just got a few and so they yeah and so they fit so well in the in the boxes so i just wanted to share that with you it's my new way okay guys i am leaving now <laughs> oh jesus okay it was it was such a pleasure to spend my days and my afternoons with you i do hope that you um have a wonderful rest of your evening that this weekend is not too crazy i'll pray for all of you hoping that there's no um amazon terror that there's no craziness in your in the weather. I hope you're all safe. Uh, Kiwi, let us know if you need anything. Um, sounds like very extreme for Texas. And, um, you know, oh, that's very cool. Very cool, Kiwi. Yes, she says that she works for a printing company, so her kids are in back bags. That makes a lot of sense. So, again, Many blessings, be safe, very safe, and we'll see, I'll see you um, Sunday. I forgot. I'll see you Sunday, guys. I sure hope that, let me see, I'm going to move myself. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to move myself in here because it always creates mayhem when I'm trying to <laughs> talk to you guys. Okay, so have a wonderful rest of your evening and um definitely stay safe many blessings